after I after I had listened to Discovery from Daft Punk, the second album by them, I was eagerly awaiting to hear their third record, which is Human After All. And this is the last album in a while that they would release after a eight year hiatus. Well, they had made the Tron Legacy soundtrack, but I usually don't count that in with the other albums, the official studio albums. This is by the way requested by Black Queen. I I believe I didn't set that in homework and discovery. So yeah, Black Queen requested the entire Death Punk discography, so I'm doing it now. And the third record is uh, interesting to say at least because the second album by them I really loved. If you haven't checked that album review out already, check it out. Yeah, Discovery for me, a uh, really great record. And yeah, actually one of the few EDM albums I actually like, so go figure. And Human After All, it was a good follow up, but you had to follow up Discovery. And I'm not sure if any band can do that, but uh, Daft Punk did it, kind of, but um, still, I I liked Human After All, I don't think it is a perfect record by any means, like Discovery, spoiler alert, if you haven't checked it, I'll review out already, but yeah, overall, the album went, went a bit reverse on itself, because um, I said in my homework review that I really didn't like the repetitiveness of the entire record that you have a song like Around the World which is really repetitive but it also works and if someone would ask me what I think about Daft Punk I would play that song for them and say they're repetitive and the thing is with Discovery what I really loved about that album was that I, I loved the the diversity on that record. I said to I said to in my review that I love some more diversity in their music, in electronic music, and they exactly did that with Discovery. So I really love that because of it. But yeah, they kind of went back to their old days and not in a good way. So they basically repeated themselves because um, I, I really was interesting interested to see what they would make after Discovery, because um, Homework was the building point for this for this duo and Discovery was the ultimate peak for them. So seeing what they would do after that peak, yeah of course they would decline, unfortunately, because I really like uh, the second Death Punk album, really love that. But Human After All wasn't exact, exactly that. It wasn't really disappointing to say, but Discovery is just on, a, on an a whole other level, I'm just saying that. But this album is also surprisingly short and it doesn't have a lot of good ratings. But the album starts off strong with the title track which is 5 minutes and um, yeah the entire album is dance rock so I, I actually like that genre but it wasn't as well done as on, um, on their last record. But I still enjoyed this track, the title track, it was really enjoyable. Uh, the, the prime time of your life was a bit repetitive. Um, it's, it still was really funky though, it still had a dance rock beat where you can just dance to. Uh, Robot Rock was another song that I actually really like, I've heard it before. And yeah, actually the band plays or the duo plays guitar. In, on this album I believe, so I really like that about the record, that it has some rock elements to it, but but overall it really felt weak compared to its predecessor. But Robot Rock is definitely a highlight of, uh, <coughs> of the album. Um, a, a song that I didn't really enjoy was Steam Machine. Uh, this song is really really creepy because I can I can still remember it because uh, basically the song is just whispering in your ear steam, steam machine just over and over and over again and it it does create a bit of a foggy atmosphere to the record and to the song 
but overall it really didn't work out it didn't really work out for me uh, the song is just a bit creepy and not in a good way it, it is just a bit yeah just really creepy really weird and yeah um, I would say my least favorite song of the record because it has traumatized me well not that extremely but it it is not a good track by any means necessary same thing with the brainwasher which was also a bit weird um, yeah just basically repeating the title track over and over again and not really going anywhere did I yeah I didn't really enjoy this song and it is really unfortunate to see Daft Punk fall from their grace because they had made such a great second record and they even went really good with the first side of this record but then it becomes really weird with Steam Machine and Make Love and the Brainwasher which are basically songs that repeat the title track over and over and have a really repetitive beat like they did back in the day so I was really disappointed, well not really disappointed but it was a bit sad to see that they went back to their debut record and repeated themselves although I really loved the diversity that they showed on the on the Discovery uh, album and I'm really really uh, yeah it, it is just a bit uh, weird or just a bit safe and bland to see that the duo um, is doing this again like the debut album that they are uh, repeating themselves and that they don't explore like they did on the second record um, on and off is a really really dumb transition when I actually uh, watched or I actually was on Spotify and listened to the record I had Brainwasher on and then it was Television Rules the Nation so I thought that um, that it was just seven track but yeah on and off is actually a track and i actually didn't know that it existed until i looked up at wikipedia so this is in pure definition a useless track it is also 19 seconds so it is really unnecessary um yeah it is 19 seconds of filler uh, i'm not sure why the song is on there so yeah a really useless track transition Television Rules the Nation is another track that I uh, enjoyed kind of. The, the the closing songs go a bit back to the uh, the opening songs of the record. T television Rules the Nation is um, just basically a robotic voice that repeats the title track over and over again like um, the the album did with the with the middle songs. Uh, this song really is sketchy the robotic voice is really cool and yeah the album definitely goes back to the first side of the record really enjoyed its television rules the nation and my favorite track though that will probably be technologic the most the most popular track of this of this album i believe technologic is a really catchy song and i believe that the it word is like 300 times used in this song i'm not sure but Music video is pretty creepy with the uh, how's that horror movie called again uh, ch with the Chucky doll uh, something like that uh, really really creepy doll that sings the the it 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 over and over again but it works it is a bit similar to Around the World where uh, the song is just basically repeating itself but the beat is pretty catchy and yeah this song is just really uh, solid overall really enjoyed it. And Emotion is the last song of the record, which was also really solid, 7 minutes in length. Um, yeah, a good closure for a good record. Uh, Emotion is definitely a track that um, that I have to listen more to give you an to give you more to give you more of a opinion about it. But still a great track, still a great close close to the record, and actually the longest song of this record. And it was actually not that repetitive. I believe they didn't set the title track. They actually went a bit more diverse, like the uh, like Discovery. So a good closure. Overall, uh, yeah, this album was not Discovery, unfortunately, because I really loved that record. And yeah, I would probably order Discovery because it is such a great record. But I'm talking about Human After All, and Human After All is definitely not a bad album. But um, yeah, 
It isn't as repetitive, I would say, as the debut album, but it isn't as great as the Discovery record. And I'm and I'm pretty sure they're ne never going to make a record like that again. I'm pretty sure, but we can all hope. My rating for this record is a 8.2. Uh, still really enjoyed it, but yeah, compared to its predecessor, yeah, it it falls a bit short. But I hope you've enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think about human after all from Daft Punk. Let me know what you think about Daft Punk in general. What is your favorite Daft Punk album? Probably Discovery like my like me, but hey, maybe you have another favorite album, maybe the new one, which I'm gonna review uh, later. Probably not today because I am a bit tired. I've listened to three Daft Punk albums now, so I'm a bit tired, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about Daft Punk, let me know what you think um, about Human After All, do you think it is underrated, do you think it is their best album, do you think it is overrated, let me know in the comments and we can uh, discuss it. Yeah, enjoy Daft Punk, enjoy Human After All, it is a pretty good record, but not as good as Discovery.